Hey what is up guys this is Pranjit Tiwari here and welcome back to Programming Nation. In this video we'll be talking about one of the most common error which we get while using MySQL connector with Python on our PC and that is can't connect to MySQL server on localhost 3306. So what exactly this error is and what is the solution to it we'll be going through that in this video. So without wasting our time let's get deep into it. So let's just take a look at the setup which we are having that is a few lines of code over here which is using mysql connector and we'll, we are trying to execute it okay so this uh, is importing mysql connector connecting to a database and uh, trying to fetch a table that is select star from passengers that is a table in database trail and we are trying to fetch that as an output but the problem which we are getting is can't connect to mysql server on localhost 3306 uh, let me just run it once again in front of you guys uh, Okay, so over here we are getting this error. So what exactly it is? It says that we are unable to connect to the MySQL server which is uh, uh, there on, which is present on our computer. This is because that the MySQL server is not online only. Uh, if we try to uh, access the MySQL command line client, I entered the password. You can see that it just automatically closes itself. I can't even access the MySQL client. So this happens because the server on a computer, MySQL server, is uh, not running. So what you can do is just right click on the taskbar, go to task manager and over here if we go to services, you have to go to services over here, uh, use M and we'll, you can see this is MySQL 5.7 and the status is stop. That means MySQL server is not actually running on a computer. What you have to do is just simply right click on it, press star, uh, click on start and now it's running. So if I try to run this code right now, see without any issue I am getting the output. There is one, uh, there is just one row in this table and I am able to get it. And now if I try to run MySQL client without any issue, I can. So this was a simple solution to this issue. And if you after doing this uh, troubleshoot, you are still facing it, uh, I'll suggest just comment down what you did and what was the issue. I we will try to actually resolve it in the comment section itself. And if the issue was resolved, you can drop us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching this video. See you later. Take care, man.